Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I just wanted to hop on here quickly uh, because today it's my birthday and I thought why not get ready with you guys. So yeah, bare faced. I just have my uh, brows done because I wanted to try the new uh, brow pot by Nabla. I'll start immediately with uh, a primer. This is the Kiko Matte Primer from the new reformulated line. And I have uh, done a first impression on this before and I quite liked it. I will apply it in the center of my face. I am going to let it sit there and uh, start on the eyes. Since I am wearing a burgundy shirt uh, and some black leggings, I am going to go in with a cream eyeshadow. This is a Supreme by Nabla Cosmetics. It's a gorgeous red cream eyeshadow and it will be the base for today's look. And since I'm going with quite dark colors, I want to um, start with my eyes first so that any fallout can be eliminated easy. And this is one of my favorite looks. I posted it on Instagram recently and I got requests for a tutorial. So I thought, yeah, I wear it so often that I might as well um, get a, get, do a get ready with me uh, on it. Next, I am going to go in with my transition shade. And this is Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek with a fluffy brush on the edge of the cream shadow to just give a base for the next eyeshadows that I'm going to apply to blend smoother and have a, let's say, transition shade for the rest of the look. I bring this always quite high up because due to my hooded eyes, otherwise when I look straight at you, you don't see any eyeshadow. Next, I am going in with uh, Neve Cosmetics Fondente. This is a loose matte eyeshadow, a beautiful burgundy shade. And I featured it in my favorites last month. And as you see, it's super pigmented. And I will put this in the crease, but also all over the lid. And gently blend it, blend it, blend it. Now I can go on uh, with the next step and I am using the eyeshadow Showtime by Makeup Geek. This is a foiled eyeshadow. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's this dark maroon burgundy red and this will just give extra dimension to the look. I am going to apply it to the center of my lid. And you can see it's not super shiny, it's not super bright, but it gives that extra shine that gives a bit more dimension to an otherwise all matte look. And for now we're gonna leave the eyes like this and I'm gonna move on to the face. I am going to apply my foundation, the L'Oreal Infallible Matte. 
give it a good shake. I apply a little bit to the back of my hand and then go in with the brush. I just realized it's still really light for me actually. This is my winter shade and I thought by now I could just use it by itself. Um, whereas I have been uh, mixing it with the shade darker recently. Um, but yeah, we'll fix it with uh, some powder later. Uh, for concealer I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me concealer. Uh, this is the shade 20 Sand I believe. Um, this has been a favorite of mine for the longest time. There we go. Can go out like this, right? I'll blend it in with a Real Techniques setting brush. For uh, setting my under eye, I'm gonna use, as usual, my Anastasia Banana Powder from my self-made face palette with a e.l.f. small taper brush. These, this brush is just amazing. You can do anything with it, from highlighter to uh, setting your under eye, applying blush. I really, really recommend it. And it is so cheap also or inexpensive. To set the rest of my face I go in with uh, another favorite. This is Neve Cosmetics Hollywood powder and this is just a loose powder. face is very very flat. I'm gonna put some dimension in it before I look like a crazy person. A little bit with crazy red eyes and nothing on my face. I am going to go in with uh, Makeup Geek Bad Habit Contour Powder. This is the um, one, the second lightest shade with a warm undertone and I really like these powders. I received them Two of them, I received uh, this one and the lightest shade, which is a bit too light I find for me, but I really like them. They are incredibly pigmented, so you really have to apply the smallest amount and blend out well, otherwise you look a bit crazy. Up on my temples, which they're all stained, I colored my hair today, I had the weirdest regrowth by now and uh, yeah this still needs to go out but I'm happy with it so far I'll see what color comes out now for highlight hmm I think I'm gonna try my new uh, Colourpop highlighter and I'm not sure which one to try might be or flexitarian I'm afraid might be is a bit dark it's a very beautiful rose gold yeah look at that Whereas Flexitarian is more, is a much lighter shade. Oh, they feel so creamy. Maybe I'll try, might be. I've heard people prefer to apply these with a beauty blender or a makeup sponge 
but I am happy with this actually. Woo! Woo! <laughs> so excited. However, on my Cupid's bow, I will go in with Flexitarian, the lighter shade, because I don't want to look like I have a moustache. My god, this is really super. It's a bit more bright on camera than it is in real life. Very pretty, very pigmented. It's the first time I try these highlighters and they're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Moving on to blush, I will be using Max Burnt Pepper, this shade here. I just like to match my blush to the rest of my makeup. I've been very much into monochromatic makeup lately, especially these red tones. And it's very pigmented, as you can see. I'm gonna go over it with my powder brush to tone it down a little bit. Again, I think on camera it's brighter than in person. But it's okay. Going back to the eyes, I would like to do the same thing I did on top on the bottom, but if I apply the loose eyeshadow fondant underneath, I will have fallout. So I am going to take Makeup Geek Cherry Cola on a small brush and go on my lower lash line. And it is pretty much the same color. But I think fondente is much easier to build up as a color. So it comes on much stronger and faster. So I like it better for, to use as a, as a, all over the eye. Now in my um, lower lash line, I'm doing something it's not completely supposed to be, but I'm using uh, this Colourpop Lippy Pencil in Dukes. This is from the Fall Collection and I'm using it as a, an eyeliner in my waterline. It's just this perfect shade of burgundy. I just realized my camera cut off, but what I did mainly was uh, put mascara on. I put the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I was just on my second coat. For brows, as I said at the beginning, I already used the Nabla Brow Pot in Mars because I received it today and I couldn't just not try it. So I just did my brows super quickly. So since the brows are done, I'm just gonna set them in place with my Anastasia transparent brow gel. And this will make sure they won't move. Earthquakes, winds, they don't move. Now for lips, the choice is difficult. I think I'm gonna go with Lime Crime Wicked. It's a beautiful red, not too dark, because with these dark eyes, I don't wanna scare people away. And here we go. I just love it and again I ended up with a monochromatic look. I'm gonna pop on some lashes, be right back. Here is the finished look. I applied some Ardell Demi Wispies with my Essence Lash Glue. Here is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am ready for my birthday dinner and a few drinks maybe. 
I'll uh, catch you in the next one and if you liked it please subscribe to my channel there will be more videos coming soon bye